Hey everyone, it's Elaine here at Larkin Lane Creations. And yep, I'm back at it again. You probably know by now that my She Shed slash Art Studio is complete. Well, in the process of me emptying so many boxes, I can't begin to tell you. But then also I had all these plastic bins, big ones, that I had brought samples from work. And they just sat out there for months on my um, back patio. And one of the things in there were these rocks. Now I have to tell you, I thought I had finished all the rock samples. But sure enough, there was a set buried. So I wanted to show them to you. These are nasty. They were sitting behind some tubs. Um, and the dirt that was on them... I've kind of dusted them off, but I just wanted to show you. Now, this is me popping one off, and let me get under this one here. These are actually, I don't know if it's that they've sat in the weather so long that they were really easy to pop off. In the past, this stuff has been kind of rubbery where I could peel it off too. In this case, it's really hard. There's nothing I'm going to be able to do with it. But I might be able to scrape it off and then do something with the board. That's to be seen. But I just kind of wanted to show you. It made me laugh. And I'm still laughing about it. Because I really thought all of these were done. The one cool thing about these rocks is that it looks like it's two. The way that they have tiered them. Like for instance this one. Let me get it in frame here. This one right here is actually one piece. But it looks like it's three. And then this one is really one, this one is one, and this one is one. So I really only have six rocks to paint up, but the process that I do is that I will go outside with them individually, hose them down, and then I put them in my dishwasher. Once I, I get pretty much most of the dirt, and in this case spider webs and everything off of them, I will go ahead and clean them. And then after I clean them, I will just sew them. And then I paint them up. Now I don't do a lot of fancy. If you remember one of my last videos on rocks. I actually did paint pour. To get rid of some old paint that I had. It was pretty neat. And then I wrote something on it. And then the ladies at that retreat. Took them home and passed them out into their states. So they kind of went all over the southeast in that case. Um, but I've got a little time here. So I'm going to like I said get them cleaned up. And then I'm going to stop this video and I will come back and show you the finished product when I get it done. It, you know, it may be a little while, but you'll never know that because you'll see this video and then the end of the video. So I do appreciate it and stay tuned. I'll be right back. And I have them finished. So this is the first one. Make others smile today. The, whoop, that's sissy. That was, she just sneezed. Um, these, I call them boulders because they're bigger than a rock for the most part. I mean, you know, the rocks that we usually paint in abandoned places. These were difficult in a way because they were really, really, really bumpy. I'm not so sure you can kind of see from the camera. Um, but... They had a lot of, yeah, like peaks and valleys. And always what I do on the back of them is I always put my um, my little name that I use, Larkin Lane Creations. You know, I have a um, an Etsy shop and I have a Facebook group. And um, so anyway, I, I try to always put at least the Larkin Lane Creations on the back. And these backs were also really difficult. I guess it's because I think these are somewhat man-made. Look how nasty my fingernails and stuff are. Um, I really got into the black paint or the black ink yesterday. Um, anyhow, so that's number one. And I'm reaching behind because Sissy's in my lap, so I can't really put this stuff on my lap. And this one says, just says, thanks, friend. And I see I got a little green on there. And again, this one, I just put the my, my little stage name. Let's see. 
And then this one is believe in second chances. I'm a big one about that. I believe that, you know, unfortunately people can make mistakes, but they also, for the most part, should be given a second chance. Maybe not to the same degree as originally, but they should be given a second chance. Um, let me make your day. Let me make your day. Let me do something nice for you. Let me make your day. Um, before I show you any more, let me show you the paints that I used. Um, they're called Sugar, and they are a spray can, and I bought these from Dick Blick a while back. And you know I moved into my art studio, She Shed. I've named it the Pinecone Cabin. Um, and this is just one of the odd things in here that I don't necessarily have a place that I'm comfortable with storing them. Um, so I'm trying to kind of use them up. Unfortunately, all of these bazillion bricks or boulders that I had before, you know, this was just one that I had stumbled upon, buried in all the stuff waiting for the um, cabin to get built. So now I kind of wish I had thought about using this stuff way back when. Um, another thing, reason why I use the spray can, though, is that you can see when they built these or produced these, they made it so that they would look like separated um, stones. And actually, when I was putting the gesso on them first, and that's what that base is, gesso, when I was putting the gesso on them first, I kind of had a hard time with my brush getting the gesso down in all of those crevices. Now, I knew that I would be spray painting them, and I also knew that I would be clear coating them. So let me go ahead and show you the last couple few, or I guess it's just a couple, um, that I did. And this one is just a Hello Cutie. And then the very last one that I have just simply says hi. Um, little bitty. Not much to it, but because it was so small, there wasn't a whole lot really to write on it. <laughs> and then let me show you, this is what I used um, this time. It's just, a, um, this was a gloss clear coat by Krylon, and it's, you know, indoor, outdoor for wood, metal, plastic, and more. Um, not really quite sure what this material necessarily is perhaps maybe some kind of resin it really does feel like rock but because of the stuff on the back i'm thinking that it's probably not really <laughs> but that's finishing them up i don't expect to be given any more of these samples but if i do now i know that i have all kinds i think i have like seven different colors of this sugar paint to use um you know that's what i'm gonna do so that's it and i hope you um had a few little laughs with me on my <laughs> my boulders here i'm gonna put this away and i want to thank everybody for coming back to watch this little video and i appreciate you sharing your time with me so if you would, if you haven't subscribed and then give me a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. And I will catch you all down the road. Behave.